Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yes, we're painting again. And I've still got my palette that I used for my seascape. Well, that I did yesterday. The waves coming from other directions. And I thought, well, might as well try another one. But <laughs> I need some clean colour. I need some clean colour. So I've got this little tray that I uh, took out of my Himmy gouache paints set and uh, what I'll make a, a clean blue on here that I can use for the sky. And then if I need any really clean colour I can just use uh, this and that, that'll work out all right. So we'll put the uh, get the sky going. Have a bit more sky in this one rather than uh, mostly just the sea. There we go. What I'll do, we'll let that dry a little bit and then uh, we go into the other palette. <laughs> we'll get some of this blue. green in it as well so I want a bit of green from over here and a bit of blue I need to wash my brush I don't want it to have any white in it yet <laughs> so I might um, make it on here <laughs> see the I don't mind a little bit of white but I don't want too much yet so I'll, I'll use this Sorry about the glare on the, uh, on this. Get a bit of blue and a little bit of, uh, Viridian green, I think. Is that what this is? Or is it intense green? Intense green. It's probably, uh, phthalo green. <laughs> and then again, the pigment they use for Viridian green is in also phthalo green anyway. Just guessing. I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll use it anyway. Just want it to have a green, green tint. There we go, that's quite nice. Bluey green. So I'll put that back down there. I always find I need more, more palettes. <laughs> I need 50 palettes just to do one painting. <laughs> okay. Now I can get it a little bit of a white in it. Not too much. Use my finger just to smudge the end of that. Okay, and then we've got our big wave here coming in front here, like there. And then we've got the uh, the coast area. So what we need now is a bit of a reddish blue. So I'm going to go into my red that's here. It's like a alizarin crimson type red. You see, the colours that I use, you don't have to have the exact same colours. Because <laughs> you can use a different colour and still make the same mix. So what I want is a reddy blue colour for the beginning of the foam patterns on 
on the uh, the water down here. So we've got like an angle, like this, and then it sort of goes round like that. And then we've got the beach here. <laughs> it's not far off the uh, colour of the paper, to be fair. So that goes to about there. A bit more water to spread it out a bit. Go to about there. And I want a little bit more white in my colour to do this bit here. Something like that, that's a good start for that bit. Now we want a um, sort of a, br a browny, yellowy colour. <laughs> it's, well, it's actually a yellowy, more of a yellow ochre blue. We, we made it in a previous, the previous painting that I did. It's this colour and it is like a yellow ochre Gonna make some more anyway. It's yellow ochre. Um, just get some uh, fresh yellow ochre to speed things up a bit. When you use your paint fresh. It has a bit of moisture in already and it you can move it a bit easier, quicker. So got some yellow ochre and some blue. Yeah, and that's kind of the colour we're after. Sort of a yellow ochre and ultramarine blue, more to the yellow ochre side, I think. And uh, so we've got our wave it's falling over, it's quite big. <laughs> Gotta be brave. Um, actually, let's throw a little bit of the brown in it as well. Bit of burnt umber in it as well. I want to get this bit here. Probably need to go a bit darker than that there, to be honest. Light here. then as it rocks back it gets a lot more a lot darker a bit there as well. Well that sort of goes upwards. So I want a little bit more colour, a little bit more depth in the colour.
and then this is where it's all gonna splash down there and uh, break break this uh, a little bit in places. And I want a little bit of a burnt sienna colour. Just a warm up. Some of that there. Use my finger just to spread that out a little bit. Something like that. And a little bit of white in with my uh, colour and then get some of this as well. where the water is coming up, hitting that sand. Okay. So in the background now, we can uh, start putting in some of the deeper colors I want a uh, oh, we've already made it, didn't we? This greeny, greeny blue. I just want a bit more green in it. Probably needs a little bit more brown in it as well. A bit of burnt umber. Yeah, that's a bit better. So it's just, oops, just my thumb in the blue. <laughs> so that's a uh, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and a little bit of intense green, which I think is phthalo green, really. And we want this wave. There's a biggish wave going along here. And then there's another one over here. Go back into a little bit more colour. And there's another one there. a little bit of the movement there as well. Got a little bit of light in that. Get a little bit of blue. I'm gonna. I can start changing some of this a bit. So 
It's a little bit too light, really. So I'm going to just go and put some of my darker blues in. better because then I can go back and put lights in. I want a uh, also something I forgot to put in. There is a distant rock there. Just using a little bit of a uh, sort of a lavender colour. Let's put that in. Keep it looking distant. <laughs> there isn't actually one of those there in the uh, <laughs> reference. <laughs> There's a few of them uh, windmill things, turbine, wind turbines. <laughs> but they don't look as good, do they? I'd rather have that. That's why I, uh, being a bit inventive, I like to be a bit inventive. So we've got a few splashes and things back here we need to start putting in um, I might start going to the smaller brush now let's carry on with this brush for now I might go for the smaller brush in a minute though so I want a little bit of a coming off that I need to put some light on that we use this light blue to get it started. And then you can always you can always build stuff up. I mean it's like that painting with anything really. You can start it off quite dull and then start building it up with more and more light until you've got to your lightest lights. I'm using these little, uh, like these sort of strokes. It does melt away a little bit, but I like that, and especially in seascapes. this is all background material we don't want that to be too strong anyway we want that to be in the background it's gonna get a little bit more light start putting in where our wave is so I'm gonna put in a bit of light start building it up so my eye <laughs> is saying it's probably a little sort of a, a, get a bit of red a red in our white make this sort of colour, it's an off-white <laughs> that's what my eye is saying anyway whether it's lying to me, I don't know we'll give it a go you can decide how warm you want it of course this is off, this is the first bit of light
Something like that. And I want a bit of a light yellow ochre for this area here. Where it rolls over like that. It's breaking there as well. And then it gets really dark behind it as it sort of troughs like this. Use this to create the uh, shape, it goes sort of like that. It's quite interesting. I do like waves. <laughs> They're weird, aren't they? You get all kinds as well. The, the longer you stay there, you get all kinds of different effects. There's a bit of splash in there. Slowly building it up. Bring some of this down. to uh, get the that dark that really dark yellow ochre colour it's right there not quite dark enough Yellow ochre and brown, blue. And it's still uh, it's dark, a lot darker than I thought. So I've got this blue. I'll throw a bit of red in it, that's always good to. Oh, yeah, that's, that's dulled it down. Something like that. And that's quite dark in there as well. And it would be there. This is a, the perfect colour actually for these dark spots.
And then you get like a little... And then on the top of the, uh, on the top of the wave, you get a little bit of sky reflecting in this area. So a bit more blue there. Something like that. And there's a little bit of light behind, so that goes like that. Okay, that's about there. That area, this area, a little bit of a, a light blue on here. I think we'll switch brushes. I'll go back to my clean colour. <laughs> White and blue. So we're using the uh, other brush now. White and blue. I'm just creating a white and blue. Just white and uh, ultramarine blue. Just letting these this area dry a little bit as we get some of this. Some of this colour going in there. Bit more white into my blue. Get that light there. the sort of uh, area. So all, all our colours so far have not been pure white, so these little areas of a bit more white, it's not pure white, it's still got blue in it. You can at the add something to uh, Throwing a, a tiny bit of red in my colour as well. So you get a bit more 
bit of a change. It's not all the same. Keep looking at the. Uh, I keep looking at the my reference just to remind myself. <laughs> Something actually, I don't know if this happens to you, but it's very easy to start painting something without using your reference and you start just painting away and then uh, you might not do it the way you should because you've gone so heavily on just the way you automatically paint. An automatic painting can uh, make things look unnatural. <laughs> I say that because I've done that before, autumn, where you're just painting away and you're not really looking at your, you're not looking at your reference or your, uh, what I mean is the way it should look, the way uh, nature makes it look. Not the way you think will just finish finish it off the way you think in your head. I don't know if that makes any sense. As we're building this up, a little flow there. We can have a little bit going up there as well. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the things I say are just my own thoughts, so... Uh, <laughs> some things to think about when you're painting. Okay, we've got a bit more going on there now. I quite like that. What I need to do now is develop this area more. Before we add any more de details, details. So we need to sparkle up these splashes and things. I'll just go into my other brush to get the background ones done. Using this one, this and where the, the wood's almost all dropped off on the outer bit. <laughs> so Windsor and Newton one. My brushes are all well used. So I'm just picking up <laughs> this palette. <laughs> A bit of blue and white. Okay. And I can see where I can see little waves and we can indicate them. There's this one, I'm getting some light here. It's a bit of a wave there. Here there's a there's a wave there. Now I want White and blue here. White and blue, white and blue. Start working on this area because there's some light 
crashing on this bit here. light in there. Because what we've got is a wave and a wave. <laughs> it's, all, it's all go in this area. I'm going to go a little bit duller. I'm just going to throw my white in with this. Just to go a little bit duller. And then we can start shaping this. Which wants to be going like this. It's all pouring over. There's a bit of light sort of hitting that area. the yellow ochre in my colour and we get these uh, as well. Can use that just to mix a little bit. Get those where the lights hitting that. Over here as well. And we can start crashing that. over go back to my other brush start crushing this down there use the uh, sound effects to help <laughs> That brush does a really good job of uh, them sort of 
crashes we're going to brighten it again but that just uh, gets it going a bit got a bit more light there So as that sort of goes a little bit, we need a bit more of this white. We can uh, really go for it now because the lightest light is almost white. So we'll use that crash in here. goes down there and then this goes that way this crashes there Wiggles. A little bit of light on this, A bright light. Lightest lights. That sort of goes back there. And then what I want my capture. Uh, Additional lights that are on here, little glints here and there. get some of that blue as well blue and white coming up here to this These like patterns here. Yeah, a little bit of 
of light, a bit more light there. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're pretty close. I just want to uh, get a bit of a dull bluey colour. So I can uh, bring that, that and this together. Sandy colour. Making sort of a dull, maybe it wants to be a bit more blue than that. Just making that dull colour again. it to break this up as well here. There's a lot of patches there where you can see like under colour and we've got that around it and we can, uh, can paint those in. So you can either paint it first and then paint that on top or paint it second. <laughs> You have choices. Just making sure I'm getting this there, that's it.
shows that wave going over better. Look, that was uh, what was missing. Okay, pretty happy with that. Shows a, uh, a stronger wave, really going for it. Crashing up. I do like the uh, sounds, the sounds of waves though, very relaxing. Lots of colour changes in the water. Reds and reds and blues. Okay. I think I will call this one finished. I think we're uh, definitely there. I could add a tiny bit more white. There. could do with some little splashes as well We're going over there there we go got a few splashes of water going here and there from a few little flicks of the brush you can do that no problem and you've got a choice you can put in uh, a little bird or anything you like. <laughs> I'm going to finish it there. I'm just going to soften that a little bit with my finger. Okay, as the sound of my uh, aquarium filter <laughs> goes off, <laughs> I'll call this one uh, finished. This is a wave crashing. And it's going to be coming towards the feet. Oh, I just remembered. I've missed a little area that needs needs adding. It's only a small uh, thing that I've noticed. There's no uh, shadow under here. It does make a difference, though, actually. There we go. <laughs> We've got it now. And you can do the same in places where the waves are crashing here. Just gives it a little bit more, bit more depth, doesn't it? Okay, that'll uh, do us. And we'll call this one. So you could even do it there. <laughs> You could really go for it, can't you? 
really get some detail in wherever you like wherever you want to add a bit more depth to it but anyway i'll call that one finished thanks very much for watching and i'll see you at another one cheers bye